This next video will stop you in your tracks. And I'm gonna warn you, it is difficult to both watch and to hear. Sheriff deputies in Western Ohio believe it shows two people ensnared by a scammer who orchestrated a deadly meetup via their phones last month. Dash cam video shows 81-year-old William Brock pointing a gun at 61-year-old Lolita Hall as she tries to escape. Investigators say Brock had been on the phone with the scammer who tried to extort him and threatened his family when Hall pulled up. Brock thought Hall was in on the scam, but police say that she had no idea about it. They say she was scammed into going there to pick up a package. In the dash cam video, you can hear Hall plead for her life before Brock shot her. Hall did not survive. Brock has been charged with murder and pleaded not guilty. This is such a tragedy, people hearing about this, maybe for the first time. Walk us through what happened before this shooting and this scam. Hey, what's up, Laura? This is a crazy and unfortunate situation. Here you had this old white dude, William Brock, the intended victim of extortion. The extortionist tried to convince him that his nephew was in jail and that Brock needed to come up with 12 G's. Brock stood on the square though. He wasn't going for it. But then the dudes on the phone started to threaten his life and his nephew's life as well. Then the scammers got creative and contacted Uber. They told this black woman to go over to the house and pick up a package. When she goes over there and knocks on the door, dude is like, what's up, what you want? She's like, I'm here to pick up a package. And that's when dude started busting on her. Play the 911 call for your audience. Why did you do that? Because I was threatened that she was gonna come and kill me. She threatened to kill you? No, it's the guy on the phone that's been trying to get, um, Money out of me. Even Stevie Wonder could see this woman made no demands, no threats, no assaults, and no anything other than ask for the package that Uber sent her to pick up. There was never a threat, and this is why this old trigger happy fool is charged with murder. The coward would probably receive a fundraiser from the GOP to pay for his bail and his defense lawyer for killing a black woman. I don't want to hear anything about stand your ground. This dude needs to be in the ground. This dude was clearly the aggressor. He bust on her and bust on her again while she sat in her car, killing her. I don't wish prison on anybody, not even my worst enemy. But what needs to happen is the family needs to take this guy's house all of his assets, everything inside the house, his bank account, all of that, pension, retirement fund, social security, whatever this man gets. And they need to sue the fuck out of Uber. This is truly unbelievable, Joey. I mean, Ohio, for those wondering, Ohio has a what's called a stand your ground law, but the state's concealed carry manual says, quote, if the defendant escalated a confrontation by throwing the first punch, attacking or drawing a handgun, the defendant is the aggressor. So given that this person may have been scammed, but ultimately did shoot this person, this woman who's just trying to come and pick up a package, does Brock have a viable stand your ground defense at all? 
No, Laura, good to be with you and Danny. Uh, here's the reality. Stand your ground means you have no duty to retreat. What was he retreating from? This is a person who apparently was acting, uh, you know, certainly out of concern based upon the threat, but I think it was too much of a concern. We don't have vigilantes in this country, at least we shouldn't. We have professional police officers. If you think you're getting scammed, you call the police, you take those steps. If you look at the body cam, Laura, I don't see the threat that was posed. As Danny noted, there was no threat, much less an immediate threat, which is what you need for self-defense. And so stand your ground in the event that he was in an imminent fear of a threat or attack would be viable. He would not have to retreat, but there's no stand your ground when in fact you're the first aggressor. And so I don't think that's going to apply. I think he's the charges are appropriate. And I think the scammers, if found, will be brought to justice as well under a felony murder or rule, as you know, if the commission of another felony, the scamming, or under some other involuntary manslaughter rule. Tragedy by all accounts. The shooting did not have to occur. There were other alternatives. They were not used. I mean, it's an unbelievable story, thinking about the victimize, victimization of not only this woman, who's 61 years old, who is simply trying to pick up a package, and the scammers as well involved in all this. Danny Freeman, Joey Jackson will keep following what has happened in this tragic loss of life. Thank you.